prepared to strike, but hopeful it won't happen. Nurses with Providence Sacred Heart say a strike will happen if a fair contract doesn't. Good evening to you on this Friday. I'm Dan Kleckner. We're glad you're here. I'm Stephanie Vigil. The hospital says they believe what's been offered is fair. Nurses disagree. Our KHQ's Noelle Lashley has been in contact with the hospital, but Noelle, you also talked today with a nurse. What does she have to say about the strike authorization? Well, she says it has been a long and difficult year of negotiations, and at this point, there is still a long ways to go in this process. This is not where we want to be. Uh, we were hoping it wouldn't come to this point. Stevie Lynn Crone says she feels the weight of her fellow Sacred Heart nurses on her shoulders. She's both a nurse at Sacred Heart and on the contract negotiation team between the Washington State Nurses Association and Providence Sacred Heart. We're not asking for more. We're asking to maintain our benefits and have adequate staffing and better working conditions. Crone says there are many dividing topics in the negotiations, but some big ones have to do with a change to sick time policies and having to give up their earned paid time off. According to a statement from Providence Sacred Heart, the new short-term disability plan offers, quote, 65% of income replacement for up to 25 weeks with no pre-existing condition exclusions, end quote. Crone says the nurses are expected to take paid time off, which can be used for vacations and emergencies, to make up the other 35 percent. A proposition, she says, that will impact their families. A lot of these nurses, they have families that they want to take care of, and they have earned benefits that they have accrued over a number of years in order to take care of themselves or their, uh, their, their children or their, their mothers and fathers. Um, and Providence wants to take that away from them. Crone says voting yes to authorize a strike sends a powerful message because the nurses involved won't get any pay or benefits as long as the strike is in effect. She says they love what they do and the decision was not made lightly. After the strike authorization vote, um, it was both sad to know that we had to come to that point, but it was amazing and incredible to see the unity with those nurses and that they are willing to say no more takeaways. Well, Noelle, you talked about how this strike could impact those nurses. What about the patients? Right, that's one of the big questions that I had going into this story. So I reached out to Providence Sacred Heart Hospital, and they wouldn't give me an exact answer. They did tell me that they, quote, won't speculate on what ifs, but they do have a plan in place. Now, Crone tells me her understanding is that the hospital will likely bring in traveling nurses. She also tells me there isn't a firm strike date in place yet, and that they'll give the hospital a 10-day notice before that happens. And that 10-day notice, that happens hasn't happened yet. In Spokane, Noel Lashley, KHQ Local News. All right, Noel, thank you. Now we're told that negotiation teams on both sides of the table are working to 